thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to talk about conservatory roof. Now, I've got a little job on and I'll show you the video. We've got a leaking conservatory roof. If you don't know how these things are put together, it can be a little bit daunting, but believe me, it's really quite simple. Also, you'll see in the video how easy it is to break into a conservatory. So it's always something to be wary of about your security and what you can do with your house to, to secure it up a bit better. But we've got a leak on this roof. You wouldn't think it, but these roof tiles, the polycarb, can move about, it can slide down if it's not clamped in or been sealed quite right, if the clips aren't quite tight enough. Enough talking, let's zip over to the job and get it sorted. Here we go. Now, this is a bigger conservatory than one that uh, I've just been showing you then. It's got more panels on it. Doesn't affect it. It's a good strong frame, but what you get inside here, the big polycarb tiles, because they're quite heavy, because they're quite big, they're quite a long drop, have a tendency, tendency to slip down. And as you can see there, as I press that up, it's not all the way up to the top. And when the rain comes in at an angle on the roof, it can get in behind it, run down, and start dripping inside. So let's get up on the roof. Let's have a look from the top. So five tiles down, if you look down the line, you can see it's just dropped. So the problem we've got here is these polycarb roof tiles have slid down, giving us a little gap at the top, and that water's just been getting in behind it. The curtain on the top stops some of the water coming in, but if it is just coming in at an angle, that's where your problem starts, and you can see that gap there. Now this one's not in line, it's slightly lower than the others. I'll just pop that so I know where I'm going with it. And this is a, again a close up down the line. You can just see that these two here, one of them's dropped quite a lot, and the one on the right has dropped a fraction. And we need to take these trims off. And again, clearly there, look, a bit of a close-up on that. You can see both of those two. Now, the actual, when they fitted this roof, this one's been sealed on the right at the top. Right, and let's get this trim up. These are just prise it up from the bottom. It just clips in with the seam down the middle. I just pop that over to one side and then we can move on to this second trim. Now we've just got to get his fingers underneath the bottom of it, which is, that's the hardest bit, is getting your fingers underneath it and just slowly prising it up. If you just get a start on it, once it starts, you can get a plastic wedge and just lift it slightly if you're struggling with your fingers. And then just work it all the way along. No, I think I'll be able to lift it straight up. It's a little bit tight because of the tiled roof where it overhangs. But if I can just slide this back slightly as I'm lifting it, we should be able to just work it out. Here we go, look. So it's coming away now. There it is. So we take the whole polycarb panel out. Now you see how easy that came out. So I was saying about the security thing. If you just pop these trims off, you can lift a polycarb panel straight out the roof and, and you're into the conservatory. It just wants to be really dry, doesn't it, to start with? Let's get it absolutely, uh, let's get it absolutely dried off. So the plan here is to dry it off, get rid of any moisture that's on this polycarb and round this the seal that's on it, and then we'll run a bead of silicon along the top edge and a little bit at the bottom either side. We'll then drop that polycarb back in and it won't move, it'll be sealed and solid. Put the trim clips back on. This also is a good opportunity, you can see how you can replace the polycarb with glass panels if you wanted to. You could measure these panels and if you wanted to change the plastic to this new heat saving, energy saving glass, you can do that as well. So here we go, silicon gun to the reddit with some decent grade silicon in it, that's important. I'll put a link in the description to the silicon gun and the silicon that we're using. And here we go. I'm just going to put a nice fine bead 
right on top of that little rubber trim that's there and I'll run a nice fine bead all the way along try and keep it as, as, as nice and even as possible all the way along and that polycarb roof will just drop in on top of that and once it's gone off it won't slide down I'm not going to go mad I'm not going to put too much on there because if we ever do need to take these out I don't want it to be solid as a rock at least with just a piece at the top you'd be able to release the bottom lift it wiggle it and it would come away um, you could even slide a blade in from the bottom and run it along if you really needed to get this out again so I just put a little bit at the bottom there about a three inch either side just to peg it all in place and make sure that it's not going to come away right so I've got my faithful assistant here to help us out just to uh, make sure I don't knock that silicon at the top you just got it there, Tex. Yeah. Hold it steady. Yeah. So as you saw there, we just got that top edge up to where it needs to be, and then you have to push it and slide it from the bottom, and it goes right up and into its recess, and then we just push it down, make sure it's all in nice and firm. Beautiful. So obviously being careful not to put any weight on the actual plastic polycarb. I can I can lean onto the aluminium struts and I'm just going to wipe that top edge, make sure it's nice and clean and dry, and then I'm going to put a bead of silicon along that top edge now from the outside just to peg it in place and be sure that it's nothing's going to get in there. We'll do the same with this one as well. I'm going to push that one up slightly as well but then I shall just run a bead along the top of that one that just needs to go a fraction it's only dropped a little bit but it will go back just a bit more so yeah this the trim clips there you just slide them into the recess on those aluminium struts I'm going to put this back on before I put the silicon on I'm just going to drop this in either side and then just run a little bead along the top so you get it in and then you just push it straight down and it clips into position and spreads out and the rubber seal on the bottom will, that's all that holds these polycarb tiles into place it's yeah it's bizarre really isn't it there's not a great deal holding them down and we'll do the same with the other side again we slip that into position you can use a rubber mallet with a bit of um, masking tape on the end to stop the black marks from it uh, if you if you don't want to whack it with your hands All we'll start at the end when you're pressing these down. Start at one end and work your way along. Like I say, you could use a rubber mallet and bang it if you didn't want to whack it with your hand, but uh, they don't take too much to, uh, to to bang them into position. But that's gone down nicely. So please, well, they've gone in, so let's get the silicon and just finish off along that top seam. So starting from one side and then moving across to the other whichever way you, you're comfortable with I'm sort of right handed so uh, yeah here we go can you make your mind up which way is it going to go which is going to be the easiest to do it I'm having a think look I think I'm going to go that way <laughs> got a blob I've got a blob here we go look nice and smooth just try and squeeze it and move it and try and get it half decent, try and get a decent seam along there, just a nice bead. Oh, look at this, like a pro. <laughs> not, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but not to worry, because a, a lick of the finger and a quick swipe across, and uh, we'll soon have that looking like looking like new. If you lick your finger before you wipe a bit of silicon, the silicon won't stick to your hand because it repels the water. So it saves you getting a big blob all over your hand. I'll just wipe off that little blob I've put on the edge there. But then here we go, straight across, and that's tidied that up nicely. Yeah, maybe once more for good luck. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, definitely got that. 
Now, when the company did the roof originally, they sealed the top on the other side, on the side that you see from the garden, but they didn't do any of these back edges. So um, while we're here, we'll just go over these last few little bits. Again, this trim on the side here, this had been pre silicon by the company. It didn't fit the best. I think that's probably why they dropped a bead in there. And that's split over time. So I'm just going to run a fresh little bead down there just to make sure that that bit's watertight. We don't have nothing incoming down that angle. Again, it's it's one of the, uh, like the ridges. So I'll just run a new bead down there, make sure that that's nice and sealed as well. It won't do any harm to put a bit on there. Lovely. And then we'll do this other other tile here as well. We'll get a piece across the top of that one. And it's just double security really, just to be sure that if you do get a real stormy day and the wind's coming in slightly sideways, it's not going to get under that little curtain and, and get down the back of that polycarb roof there and into the conservatory. Oh, 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 stop, look. How's your knee? My knee's killing me there, I tell you, because that's right on me funny bit. <laughs> Should have put a knee pad on. There we go, bingo. One last wipe and clean up. Just grab a bit of blue roll and uh, a lick of the finger. There we go, just have a quick swaz across there. Make sure that's nice and smooth and into the bits where it needs to be. Beautiful. So as you've just seen, we've uh, lifted it, sealed along the top, got it all back in nicely, trims back on again. Fantastic job. So as you can see, that polycarb on the roof, there's not a great deal holding it on. A bit of silicon in the right place is just all it needs to secure it and make it watertight and stop it from slipping down. All in all though, good job. We're all nice and sealed up. Everything's right, we've saved yourself a few quid and it's a job you can do yourself, it's not difficult. If that's been a use, just drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.